Hello everyone. Welcome to Octopus Tutorial. We will talk about how to deal with page number link pagination in this tutorial. Some listings use direct page number links to load subsequent pages. Displaying like these websites. In this case, we would need to modify the X path of the click to paginate step. Take Amazon as an example. Enter the URL in the extraction URL box. Since there's no next button on the page as usual, we need to click on the page number 1 to 20 to create a pagination item. Click on 1 to 20. Select loop click the selected link. Then, a pagination loop is created in the workflow. But it won't work without modifying the X path. Next, I will show you how to write the X path. Step 1. Find out the X path to locate the current page number. After you open the page in a browser, right click the current page number, 1 to 20. Select Inspect. Now we get its X path. So the X path to locate the current page is. Step 2. Locate the next page number with the X path expression. Following sibling. Now plus the following sibling expression. Is the following sibling will select all the siblings after the current node. So we need to plus the name and the serial number of the tag that contains the next page, to locate it exactly. Here, the second page is in the following first Lee tag. Step 3. Plus the name of the tag, that contains the anchor for linking to the second page. In this case, it is a tag. Now we got the complete X path. Let's go through it again. First, create the X path to locate the current page number. Second, use the syntax, following sibling, to locate the next page. And plus its tag name and the serial number. In this case, you could see the following Lee tags linked to the following pages respectively. So the second page is always the first Lee tag to the current page. Third, plus the tag name of the anchor for linking to the next page. Copy the X path. Now we can replace the X path of the pagination loop. Click the pagination loop. In the loop mode, select single element. Paste the new X path. Click OK and save the setting. We can check if the new X path is right. Select the pagination loop. If the loop item locates on the next page number, then, it's correct. Click on the click to paginate. It paginates to the next page successfully. Let's check it again. It works. Okay, let's continue to design the workflow. We'd better go back to the first listing page to create a loop item. Just clicking on go to web page. Now we are on the first page again. Select the pagination loop. We can build the loop item now. Click the title of a book. Select all. Then select loop click each element. Now we enter the detail web page of the book. We can select the information of the book that we want to extract. Like the book name. Author. Star Rating Reviews Price Edit the field name Click OK Now we can save the task Star Extraction to get the data we have completed this tutorial. 
Thank you for watching.